Hi, Libra. Pisces season. Reading. Pisces season's greetings. I think that's cute. Um, <laughs> send to someone else. Another sign. All information to work with me one-on-one -on -one is below, as well as the extended version to this reading, which will be in a, the first link below in a couple of days. If you don't want to wait that long, you can go on Patreon, but you still have to go on Patreon to receive the reading if you do wait a couple of days. If not, if you do go on Patreon and subscribe, you will get monthly updates and more to come on that. Okay, so top priority. Then we have the bottom of the deck. This is a change. This is um, already heading into the month with your head on straight, your ego, courage to see this through. This is already a lot of information, so I'm going to start with these cards. The courage to see that you're whatever you're experiencing through your mind, through your ego, through this time where it's like up front, like Pisces season was like, we're going to hit this strut like dead on. Okay. So the courage now is to see yourself through to the Empress. To be willing to listen to those that you can associate the Empress with in your life. But also to recognize how you feel in their presence, how you feel when you see like a picture or visualization of them or hear their voice. What is that feeling that runs throughout your body? And how can you access this? Well, you have to keep being courageous. You have to keep doing what you've been doing. This is also about how you can't and you won't be able to keep up the way that you've been, pretty much. That there is a lot of discipline here. Pisces season is asking you to take what you're perceiving through a filter. And it's not for anyone else's sake, that's for yourself. If you want you could just be unfiltered with everyone else and be filtered with yourself what does that mean what do i mean by that well you may be experiencing and this is very fire sign right in the beginning the self induced decisions that you need to make the changes that will help express this Empress way even more. The swords, the expression, the thoughtfulness, the process. This is the right order. <laughs> the right order. And it looks like it's through somewhat of an order you have these these characters these cards are very extroverted in public however what they truly experience inside which brings us to that connectivity of the strength card is the compassion that they have to have with themselves regardless of how people perceive them regardless of their own perception of their self or how that can influence the perception of themselves. And as a Libra, if you can take a look at an Aries and a Taurus, they don't go to that extent. Like there's this, and even Leos, right? There's this real deep sense of who they are, but I think it's more Aries, Taurus. It's that even though they're like the babies of the Zodiac, the beginning of the Zodiac. And so you can say, that, you know, we get to, 
you know, toddler meets preteen in the in the Leo season in Leo, right? But these are very headstrong. Emperor and Empress, your match, right? The compassion it takes to meet your match, to be each other's strength, to be the strength for yourself, right? This requires a certain mentality, a certain discipline, a certain way of life. This Mars and Venus meetup, Venusian meetup, actions versus how you work in the world, how you work with other people, yourself, how you express your resources, this meetup between who you who you are, the I am, and the next phase of that. Being willing to see the truth, the reality, is a way of being courageous and yet compassionate to yourself, to give yourself the strength. Because then, even though you can't always assume what's going to happen next, you can be somewhat prepared for shift. And where your focus will be, and where your focus is, is on now receiving the insight in the next step. And how do you do that? Well, you allow yourself to trust what will happen next. Now, I know this looks pretty abrupt and new and exciting and you're like, why can't you just like let this be exciting? <laughs> well, um, bottom of the deck, judgment. Okay, we're going to look at that too. We're going to make this look like a little tree almost. It's like, yeah. You realize that the reason why you have had to become lighter and almost like emotionally squeezed through this change, and I know that sounds like really shitty, but you, it's, it's already like, you've already turned the corner. The excitement is about, yes, towards the end of the month when we get into airy season, right before it, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, there is so much fresh ground. There is so much air. There is so much fresh air. You're in a whole new cycle. Two aces and the fool. Two aces and the fool. You're a fool not to take any risk for yourself, Libra. If it's for you, you need to do it. Ending with Aries energy, beginning and ending with Aries energy, and then Pluto on top of it. This is the next phase, and it, it again, I want to say it looks so exciting. It looks like pressure, and you're just like all for it, but you know how you are. You jump, you're so excited, and then burn out, and then whoop. I'm exhausted, so you have to just make sure you're taking care of yourself through this, and that's why I think it's like, uh, con it was, it's a leading up to, right? You, each step of the way, have to understand what it takes to maintain the emperor, the empress, to maintain this identity, this feeling, this way of life. And all of a sudden, you're offered an opportunity that you have worked hard mentally, emotionally for, Perhaps you've worked hard on breaking some patterns, receiving insight, being receptive to what you didn't see and couldn't see before, what you were immature of. The Page of Swords fits so nicely with this Four of Swords. And then we have the Ace because the Page is, in a way, the King is like where you are very mature, where you are very disciplined, determined, where you can't be sh shook. The Page is... Immature, lighthearted, light on his feet, quick, swift. Um, so there's a difference. Like, just as it's like, um, <laughs> if you've ever seen Avatar Last Airbender, it's like the ones, who, the wise, and then Aang, or the young, the youth. And 
this play and being willing to be open to what you didn't know and how it can help influence you now, like where it can be really helpful, like what how you do know it, right? How you're how you can utilize this energy, this answer, these answers that you've been waiting for to receive to enter this new life excited, this new chapter excited, whatever. And if you're a Libra rising, you know, this is the eclipse of your, this is about your identity. This is your first house. Now, depending on where a Libra is in your life, things are just going to change. You know, some of you may all of a sudden and it hasn't really been all of a sudden, but it like you, you have this moment in your life, whether it's public or around people or with yourself, where you shift. And that starts to show up. And what also shows up in those relationships is whether or not they are going to continue with you on this phase and from where you're at now. And that's about that. And that's why... I want to emphasize these ace and fool energies as exciting as they are and as prepared as you ever can be for them. What you almost can never prepare for is the loss that comes on, comes with the next chapter. The grievance of who you used to be and how you used to operate and how that worked for you and how or it worked for that space and time you're in and how now what's working for you next with where it's time to where your journey is going right you've already experienced this before in other ways but this one is more personal so before we get into the next part my advice for you is to take it easy this month on yourself that strength card being dead center at the top of the reading be patient with yourself Right? Be patient with your mind. Be patient with your, your voice. Have that willingness to be attached to your own way, yet unattached to someone else's. And how that may differ from your own and differ from your path that that it may be important to hear different ways of going about life career love yours is and what you need to be shown is ultimately can be shown through you and instead of through other people you'll find that through whatever time you create for yourself you get the you get some of the answers right you get what you need to have, conversations that you need to have to make changes that you need to make and to leave things like, you know, this is just like a clean slate. Like it looks like you don't want, and it's not for anyone else but yourself, right? This is the important thing to notice because it's fair for you to be, to leave on a, a clean slate, but to have learned why that's important and be so, and you know this Libra, but again, we learn this, especially when we see things and you can be, you know, you can have the judgment, you can have the criticism, you can weigh the scales, but ultimately what any of that has to do with you in a particular situation, especially if it isn't for your best self, isn't for where you're going and it's just this time that you're spending and you know the pattern and it's like if you're overspending time there right overly frustrated about the same things or constantly hitting your head against the wall it's just time to change directions and if you don't want to change you know Pisces season has come in with like a bang like okay well here's what you didn't want to see and now you have to figure out a way to deal and well how easy is that?
it's not about the ease. It's about how you experience the change and the transition through each phase, motion, moment, chapter, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And how you get into your own zone so that you can then create from around that, right? Bring and trust that this timing is perfect. You're at that beautiful axis and that it's all working in your favor now because you're willing to let go, not in a way that's like, well, fuck it, which is fine, but there's a lack of integration so you're still going to have to integrate, well, fuck it, you know, like, well, fuck it, we'll see what happens, right? But it's like, no, like, okay, I understand this might be a little challenging, but it also will be amazing. And, um, yeah, that's what's behind the fuck it. And your voice shifts and changes. Yeah. Right place, right time, opportunity presents itself and all of a sudden you're leaping into the next portal, into this eclipse season and what's to come from the next six months ahead. I want to get into the next part Libra, all information is below. Um, just remember, no one can tell you like, yes, you may have been a certain way, whatever, but you're you're just more determined, and you're in a very headstrong place. Um, but it's connected, you know. You're connecting, and from your head through your emotions to your body willing to see what comes up, willing to face whatever might be EO and whatever needs to be and given compassion, right? And that's like the biggest part of this month because that's what's going to take you into the next journey from there. And there's a lot of space, which is if you need to understand the details is why I'm giving this more space and we're going to get into the next reading or next part where we'll go through it even further. I'm very excited and ready for you. All right. We'll see you soon.